This is officially the first tutorial that I'm doing in my brand new Draw It To Studio. What is going on Draw It To crew? Ramni here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys. And today I'm going to go back to the comics to draw Wolverine. So let's do this. Before we begin, you guys, be sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing, and a link to a free coloring page based on this video tutorial. And having said all of that, grab your drawing tools, let's draw Wolverine. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with our Wolverine tutorial. Uh, I've got my paper in landscape mode for this one, and we're going to be drawing him kind of just a little bit below the elbows. He's going to have his elbows. He's going to have his claws um, pointing this way and this way, kind of like an X. And yeah, we're just going to kind of just draw him uh, from there. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do, since this is going to be a symmetrical uh, drawing, is I'm going to draw a line going down the center, because that's what we're going to use as our uh, main guideline. All right, so let's go ahead and draw a circle. I'm going to draw a circle kind of like right here. And if you guys are noticing anything new about my tutorials, this is my first tutorial that I'm doing here in my brand new studio. Uh, you guys probably noticed that I've got my background right here is a little different. It's not yellow anymore. It's this like wood paneling. So kind of like that. I uh, wanted to change it up because that yellow kind of starts to look a little bit dirty sometimes, you know, so uh, yeah, that's that. So circle right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two lines going down. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the jawline. And then the chin is pretty flat, I would say. That chin is going to stick out a little bit further later on. So we'll figure that out later. Okay, so there's the head for our um, Wolverine. Now you guys probably noticed that I'm also using a different type of pencil. This pencil right here uh, is a mechanical pencil. I've decided to try this one out um, instead of using uh, wood pencils like I traditionally do. But I still do use um, 2B. So 2B pencils, that's still what I use. Similar to the 2Bs, let me grab it. Where are my 2B pencils I used to use? Ah, they're here somewhere. Anyway, I can't find one. When I need one, I can't find one. How funny is that? Oh, here you go. Yeah, so very similar to my 2B pencils that I use. Here is a 2B mechanical pencil. And yeah, I'm gonna give this a shot. Um, we'll see how it goes. All right, there you go. So uh, forgive me while I try to adjust the settings here because it's fairly new, kind of untested. This is the first time I'm trying it out. So, you know, anyway, <laughs> where was I? So yeah, let's uh, kind of figure out where the nose is gonna be and where the nose is gonna be. I'll probably draw the nose right there. I'm going to draw a curve right here and right here. And what that is, is it's going to be his uh, uh, trapezius muscle. So those are like his shoulder muscles right there. He's kind of like hunched over because that's what Wolverine does. Okay, just below his chin here is how I'm going to, where I'm going to draw the chest. So imagine the chest is gonna go like that. Okay, now this is gonna go straight. Looks a little bit funny, but bear with me. We're going to make sense of all of this in a bit. Okay, so this right here is gonna be the shoulder and I'm gonna draw the shoulder kind of similar to the circle right here. So um, kind of like that. Okay, so don't make it extra big. Just make it about the right, about the size of this, maybe a little bit smaller too. And it's not quite a, a circle, so you guys can see I'm sort of making it a little bit more of a, like it's leaning a little bit. That's okay. Just rough it out, doesn't have to be perfect circles this time. Okay, there you go. Okay, so once you figure that out, uh, what you need to do is figure out where the biceps go. And the biceps are gonna be right here, and then I guess the triceps come out over here on this side. Okay, so here we go. Now, when you have your shoulders kind of, or when you have your elbows bent like this, you're flexing those um, those bicep muscles. So they they get kind of they get big when they're flexed. So there you go. Does it look a little bit funny right now? I'm sure it does. Okay, right here, more of the the tricep part. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, I'm going to shape out where I want those uh, 
hands. So I'm going to draw a, what do you call it, a rectangle, I guess. What, do you, what is that even? Uh, kind of like a circle, a rounded circle, or yeah, rounded square, and another rounded square right here. So, so what I'm basically doing is I am putting one hand in front of the other here, like that. And I'm kind of just drawing them in such a way that I can then sort of create the uh, forearm like this, okay? So this right here is gonna be this arm, which is his right. Okay, start here and then it gets a little bit wide and it sort of goes into the bicep like so, okay? And then like that. All right, this one might be a little bit too big just judging from, you know, comparing this to this, but we'll do the same thing, like something similar. So I'm gonna have the elbow kind of right in the same spot here, like that, okay? And then the forearm goes like this and then sticks out into the, uh, into the arm like so. And then I'm gonna have the elbow like this. Okay, so can you guys see what's happening right now? Uh, let me just erase this part. If I erase this, then you guys can get a good, a better idea of what is happening. So that's kind of what we're looking for here. There's a little bit of an overlap, actually there and there. So there's a bit of an overlap there, which we'll fix a little bit later on. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw two lines going down here. I'm not going to draw any further than that. There you go. Cool. So just judging from, you know, just my, our, our initial drawing here, I'm starting to, uh, I'm, I'm realizing that things are a little bit wider on this side than it is over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust things a little bit and forgive me, you guys, if that is something that'll mess up your drawing, but it's just one of those things where you kind of have to make sure, um, you get it right before you go any further. Otherwise you're just going to start messing, messing with the, um, uh, what do you call it, the proportions of everything. So you wanna make sure that, you know, before you go any further that you got the foundation of your drawings right, okay? So I'm finding that mine are a little bit off center. So I'm just going to make the necessary adjustments. Now you guys might not even need to do this. So if you don't, and you think your drawing is fine, then leave it as is, okay? So I'm just going to recenter it a little bit, made that head a little bit bigger as well. There you go. Okay, now right here, I'm going to kind of just bring this into a nice little curve that looks like that. And that is going to be the shoulder pad. Okay, same thing over here. So it goes into the shoulder like so, and then this goes into the armpit like so. There we go. So here we've got the, sh the, the um, what do you call it, the chest here, just looking like that. And then neck lines going down like this. There, so there's our, our Wolverine. I'm just going to fix things a little bit. So there's our rough guideline or a rough outline of Wolverine right there. And I think we're ready for the next step. So uh, once you have this, you guys, you are ready to move on to the next step. Uh, make sure you guys have a brand new pencil that's sharp and let's go ahead and do the details. However, before we do that, let's cut to commercial right now. Hey guys, this video right here is brought to you by these awesome Patreon patrons. If you are interested in knowing more about how to support this channel through Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com slash draw it to for more details. Anyway, let's uh, cut to commercial and then let's get back to business. All right, you guys, so let's go back to our drawing right here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna focus on the face right now. So what I'm going to do is make sure I clean this up so that we are ready for uh, adding in uh, Logan's face. And there you go. So uh, I've sort of drawn a line there for the nose. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a bit of a triangle for the nose. Okay. 
So we're going to make an angry scowl first. So that goes like that. But what happens with Wolverine's mask, you guys, is it goes this way and this way. Okay. By the way, uh, I do want to mention that if you guys want the reference photo that I'm using to draw, make sure you check that out in the description of this video. I'm actually using a, uh, a statue from Sideshow Collectibles for this Logan tutorial. Okay, there you go. So inspiration can come from anywhere. This statue is amazing. It's expensive, but I wish I kind of had it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw his mouth. And it looks a little bit funny right now, but I drew the top and the bottom. But before I continue, I do want to bring this down. It's like the part of his uh, mask that covers his uh, cheeks right here and here. It goes down to the towards the chin there. So let's just make those necessary changes before we go anything. Okay, let's give this guy a frown because he's not supposed to be smiling right now. He's supposed to be gritting his teeth. There you go. So there's, there's the frown. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this inside. So did you guys see what I did there? Let me zoom in as much as I can. It's actually with this, I don't know if you guys saw my last uh, video vlog, but I did talk about my brand new um, mount for overhead cameras. The problem with it is it's a little bit harder to zoom in and out with my camera now using this mount. So bear with me here, you guys, as I try to figure out uh, some new stuff, like new things that I got to get used to, you know? All right, so what I did is I made a mouth like so. Okay, it's got frown lines. Here's the lower part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade the inside here and here. And then I'm going to draw teeth going straight across. Now I'm not going to draw individual teeth, but what I'm going to do with Logan is I'm going to draw his like, uh, his incisors or his sharp, sharp teeth. Okay. So let me just redo that again. So you guys can see a little clearer. see sharp, sharp teeth right there. You can see that there and there. Okay. Now lower lip, the lower lip, I'm going to make just two lines going up the sides there. And then actually there's two lines going across from it. Make sure you guys get that nice chin. Oh, by the way, make sure you guys get this line as well. This little wrinkle right here, there you go. Okay, so here's the lip and then the chin. Now I want to make this chin stick out a little bit, almost like cartoonish, but it is comic book based. So it's all about the exaggeration, right? And with Logan, you want to give him as muscular, mean face as, uh, as you can. Anyway, there you go. So that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to draw right there is where I'm going to kind of draw the the brow. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a line going across like this. That's where we're going to figure out where his eyes are going to go. But first, let's do that brow. This very exaggerated going up like that. So now you guys can see that that aggressive look that he's got right. And then his whited out eyes. I'm going to put his whited eye eyes. His eyes are like a little bit further apart. No pupils or anything. So he's in like his very angry, feral, like animalistic rage. And I'm going to draw just two beady eyes. I'm actually make, going to make this one a little bit smaller than the other. Can you guys see? This one's a little bit flatter and than this one right here. Okay. So there we go. What we're going to do is we're just going to continue the brow going across to that side. And then right here. And then of course, we're going to draw some wrinkles in the nose. So top part goes like that. Again, line and then lines like this. And then here lines for the nostrils. There you go. Okay, and then I'm just going to draw two lines going down from the 
brow to the tip of the nose like so. Now, of course, this is his iconic um, yellow line that goes down his mask. Uh, Wolverine's mask, Logan's mask here is pretty iconic and like pretty much everyone knows whose mask it is. Even though people don't read comics, they are pretty familiar with Wolverine's mask. Anyway, so there you go, and there you go. Not quite done yet though, because what we're going to do is we're gonna have to like bring this out, uh, out this way and this way, okay? Uh, however, before we do that, let's continue this line going out here and here, because we are going to, okay, make, make his mask go down like this along the sides. And then we are going to bring this up and then right around here, not too far out, so right around there is where we want that mask and we, this is kind of where we want it to end. So there, like that. Okay, so if I erase this, then it looks like Wolverine. There you go. So just to do the same thing on the other side there and try to get that symmetry going. Okay, so comes out right around here. And if you just compare how far out this goes, kind of goes right around here, right? So the key is to draw this as lightly as you can. There you go. And then you want to curve this. And you want to make sure you get a very similar kind of curve. <coughs> Erase this part here until you get that nice Wolverine mask shape that iconic mask shape that everybody knows. Now there are different versions of this mask. This one right here has the, these things that go down. Uh, that's a fairly modern look to Wolverine. So you wanna get that right. You don't have to draw that. You could just like go straight ahead. Like that's a very 90s look for him. So if you wanna do that, you can as well. I'm gonna make it so that the mask connects. There you go, okay. I think that's looking good. Pretty, pretty satisfied with that. It's not quite symmetrical, but that's all right. Okay, I'm gonna draw the head a little bit bigger. First, I'm gonna draw two lines going out this way and this way. Those are seams for his head. And then I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a Kind of like a flattened padding here at the top so that his head doesn't look like um like a perfectly round circle because it's not what it's supposed to look like there you go so there's our logan head our wolverine head and you can add more wrinkles to this um totally up to you there you go add some more of the brows there you go Any type of fixing, uh, I'm going to probably fix um, during the inking stage. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to zoom out and let's continue with the rest of the body here. So here you got the shoulders still kind of going down. So you want to get that right. You don't see the neck again but i am going to widen it a little bit here and here okay so again here you have the um the lines for the neck like so okay you can draw some stubble on wolverine here if you want you can shade it give him that five o'clock shadow like he hasn't shaved in a while it's a pretty iconic thing for him to have as well as like that unshaven look Wolverine does have some pretty distinct facial hair. Especially the sideburns and like the hair that goes poop outward. Okay, that's good, that's not bad. Now he does have two blue stripes, black stripes that go down like so, like here. And let's just have that go straight down his chest here, sorry. Make it go a little bit further straight down like this. There you go. And as you guys can see, when you get to that chest part, it sort of changes directions here. So you, like the lines kind of contour to the shape of the body and like the, the lines along it. OK, 
Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape the shoulder pads like this. want to do the same thing on this side right here so you just want to make sure that you're whatever you do on one side you do on the other keeping close paying close attention to the shape of things because you it's it's supposed to be symmetrical so you don't want one to be bigger than the other right you want it to be in proportion you want it to look similar there you go you guys see it's like flat over here and then there's like two curves that go down like this actually what this does is it goes further down like this like that so you guys can see this is actually the edge of it so if I do it on this side I do something similar like that okay and then yeah so there we go before we draw the claws, let's actually um, kind of figure out where the claws are going to be. And forgive me for this kind of rude gesture here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the middle claw first. I'm going to exaggerate the look of that and I'm going to exaggerate the length of it. Okay. And you want this and this to be kind of similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it upside down because that way I kind of find that it makes it easier for me to figure out whether these guys are mirror images of each other. So helps me to not see Wolverine as Wolverine, but helps me to see shapes and like proportions and distance from each other and angles and all that stuff. Uh, when you turn it upside down, you kind of get a better, get a different perspective on how things look. Okay. So there's, uh, there are the two claws right there. What you want to do is, well, first you want to make sure where you want those claws to end up, right? So there, that's about a good length. And then try to do something similar on this side right here. So just like that, make sure it's like perpendicular to each other, 90 degrees where they meet. Okay, and then start over here. This goes out like that. So it goes, spreads out further as you go f uh, further away from the center. And this goes like that as well. Okay, and the same thing over here. Okay, so there you go. Gives you an idea of how far uh, you want those claws to be. And uh, I think it might be a little too far, so I might like bring it down a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so we got the claws, we got the, we got the face here. Now uh, we got the shoulder pads. Uh, let's work on those fists last because what we're going to do is work on the hands and then we're gonna draw the claws after that. So let's kind of figure out these arms. Now they're not perfectly round. So you wanna make sure that you capture that uh, organic look to them. Okay, so here's bicep right here, sticks out, right? And what I'm going to draw is like draw a little bit of this, like, I don't know, like vein, I guess, going down his arm here. I'm not going to draw too much. Okay, so there's one bicep right there. It's just sticking out and then side. And then right here, same thing. A little bit difficult to read. Okay, so here's the tricep right here. I'm just going to draw it like so. Okay, can you guys see what I mean? Like this arm that I drew here with this vein, a little bit confusing. Maybe I shouldn't have drawn that vein too prominently. And then that goes shoulder muscles, right? There you go. And then his gloves kind of just cut off right around here and then go straight down like this. OK, 
Okay, so let's work on this muscle right here. This is his forearm muscle. So it goes like that. The elbow is gonna be right here, actually. Bring that up a little bit higher. So here's the elbow. That's where you want it to go. There you go. Okay, so there's one arm right there. Let's give this a little bit of definition. There you go. Okay, let's bring this to like, you guys probably notice here in your wrist, there's like this bone that sticks out right there. So let's find that bone here. Like that. Okay, we're gonna draw the arm pretty simple. One of the reasons why I drew this uh, picture specifically is because the arms are, or the fists are clenched and that makes things a little bit easier to follow. Okay, so here's kind of where you want that fist and then you bring it up a little bit further upward and that's where you want the fingers. Okay, so here are the um, knuckles, that's what I was trying to say here. Okay, so this goes like that. Okay, and then like so. So you guys see like here's the index finger, here's the middle finger right here. Like that. Okay, and then sorry, this is the index, this is the middle. What am I talking about? There you go. So I've got this divided into four different fingers. Like so. Okay, and then thumb. There you have it. Okay, so just uh, fixing things up. You don't want them to look like the sausages or anything like that. So there's Wolverine's uh, glove, gloved hand. And then let's kind of figure out where those um, claws are popping out and they pop out from these things that look like bullets. One, two, and three. And you want to make sure that they're equidistant from each other. So they're kind of as far apart equally from each other, right? And you want to follow the contour of the, the curve of the knuckles. There you go. Okay, now draw a line going across this way. And then right here, what you kind of want to draw is lines from here going to there. And then here going along the side, going to there. Erase this part and then have this kind of go underneath the claws there. It's just the design that they have for this particular Wolverine costume. There you go. So that's one arm right there. Okay, so let's draw the other arm. I'm gonna start off right here again and you know, reshaping that shoulder so it doesn't look quite like a perfect ball shape. There you go. Here's the triceps again, sticking out pretty far. And then you have the biceps over here. Okay. Here's the, um, forgot what you call this muscle right here. Trapezium, no, tri, bicep, tricep, and then this thing, which <laughs> escapes me at the moment because no one really refers to that muscle. Okay, there you go. Maybe I shouldn't draw the, the, uh, the vein. Just kind of make sure that you got everything as best as you can. There you go. And then right here is where you want that glove. And the, for this one, he goes straight down. Okay, elbow is gonna be right around here. And then this curves. Okay, have this one go straight and then curve outwards. Like so, okay. For this one, this goes, curves into the bicep, 
towards the tricep here and then here you got this muscle going this way and then another one going this way there you go okay so we got this muscle done like i mentioned i'm not going to draw any uh, of the hair although wolverine is kind of hairy so feel free to add that if you guys want to but because we're kind of running out of time here, I'm just uh, going to cut it a little bit short this time. Okay, so there you go. There's the forearm. Here's the bicep that's going behind this uh, fist right here. All right, so now let's figure this out. I'm reshaping this a little bit so that the center of these three are kind of in line with each other. So, so if I draw those bullets, they look like that. They kind of look a little off center, right? Uh, what I'm going to also do is I'm going to erase a little bit of the top and then add kind of like what we did over here, just the top part here where you see the fingers. So I won't add too much of a distance, but there we go. Okay. And then just continue with the claws here. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to create that uh, That look, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but um, here you go, here's the thumb. And then let's draw the knuckles. Here's the first knuckle right here. Second, sorry, the index, middle, ring, and then the pinky right there. Okay, and then index, middle, ring, and then not much with the pinky. Fixing the side there. There you go. Okay, so let's just clean this up. All right. Looking a little sloppy, but that's, I think that's okay. Okay, and then remember this line sort of goes down to here, and this one goes down like that as well. There we go. There you have the gloves. Pretty awesome. Okay. Here, I'm not going to draw much. I'm going to draw a little bit of the abs, but that's it. So the abs are just going to be, I don't know, kind of just uh, these rectangular little spots right here with like this cross thing here, but that's where I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so the last thing is the, uh, are the claws. So here's our Wolverine, looking pretty menacing, pretty awesome, I'd say. Now, we're going to draw the claws, and the claws, what we're going to do is, we're gonna draw like on this, on the left side, I'm gonna draw a straight line like so, a straight line as you can. And I'm not going to use a ruler for this one, just because of personal, personal preference, you guys. Kind of just prefer it to be a little bit more organic looking and then this one it kind of goes a little bit wider and then gets narrower until you come to a point okay you want to come to a point right along this line here that we established earlier and i'm going to be very very careful once i start inking that okay and then what you want to do is you want to draw a third line going down the middle, kind of following the, the right line. So this is the left line, this is the right line. Hard to look at, but uh, hard to see, hard to make out. But uh, there you go. And then same thing over here. Now this one, straight line, right? This one kind of goes out a little bit and then comes back. One of the hardest things to draw in Wolverine, especially if you're drawing Wolverine this big, is uh, the straightness of these claws here. Because they can get pretty... Yeah, there you go. Haha. -ha. We do the same thing on the other side, and 
I'm going to tilt my paper so that it's easier on my wrist here. Now this time around, this is what you want to keep straight. So the top line or the line on the right is what you want to keep straight. And then this line right here is the one that you want to curve. Of course, you want to make sure that you're not curving it any bigger than you did on the other side because then you'll have wonky, uneven claws and you don't want that. I'll clean that up a little bit later, so I'm not too worried. Uh, when I start inking, this is when I will fix it. Okay, so I'm just going to hurry this along for you guys. But feel free to pause the video and if you feel like you're done, uh, then you can go ahead and start inking. Okay, so there's, there's that. So if I erase these lines here, I should get... Da -da -da -da. Wolverine. There you go, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It actually ended up be being longer than I thought. I didn't think this would take this long. I do apologize. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this drawing tutorial, you guys. Um, thank you so much for being patient with me. It actually took a while for me to get settled into this new space. So you know how it goes. Moving is stressful. But thanks for watching, you guys. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw to so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website draw2.com where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.